holidays. When I think about my life, growing up, I was always fascinated with theater, performing. Around three years old, I started my first professional auditions, really. But how did I really like fall in love with interpreting theater, ASL? I can tell you my first experience. My mom decided after my sister was born to give me time, only the two of us going together somewhere. And she knew I was like in love with theater. So the two of us would go on the train and go to Boston. The first thing the two of us saw was a Broadway touring company performance of Little Abner. But the second thing, guess what? It was a holiday singing performance with a chorus. I can't remember who they were. And it was really nice music. I can remember sitting with my mom and just wa looking at them and watching. But you know what? There was one song, Oh Holy Night. You know what happened? The chorus started signing. And that time, it was not really popular for ASL to be seen performance-wise. It wasn't happening around. <laughs> and they started, and it was, oh, holy night, the time, the, la, 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 the rest of the song. Till, you know, the, the line about fall on your knees. There was something so powerful for me when I saw fall on your knees. It hit me. I felt like this surge going up me, goosebumps. And I don't and I don't know why. But I knew I wanted to do that. I want to be on that stage signing and performing. And that Memory always has stayed with me. It's right there. So every time I hear that song, Oh Holy Night, I remember that moment. Years later, I saw it again in Turtle Creek near Dallas, Texas. They have a chorus and they had that song. And somebody I was really connected with, Mark Allen Branson, famous deaf actor with National Theater of the Deaf, he interpreted that. And again, the same feeling. When I saw him sign, fall on your knees, it just hit me. So really... Every time I hear that song, it reminds me why I love my work with Waltham High School and Watertown Children's Theater and the Mosession Center for the Arts. But you know, I'm not going to let you just go without teaching you something. So we have a classifier called the Upside Down V or little man. Use your strong hand and have him like this. Do you know what he can do? I'm going to show you. He can stand. He can jump. He can dance. He can walk. He can sit down. He can or he can sit up right down. All those things. So again, I wish you all a really Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and I hope to see you again in 2021.